I got here about 6.15. Yeah, so 6.15, got a warm up in and hit the weights hard. Always in here early. Um, all the way from my eighth grade year of high school or uh, middle school up until now. So, you know, I think it just comes from the, the hard work and, and motivation that my, that my parents and my coaches in high school really instilled in me. Um, you know, also too with, with the coaches in Iowa, you know, Coach Doyle, they always pushing us to, to better ourselves. You know, knowing that you're competing against somebody, but always competing against yourself as well. So um, just really pushing yourself to be the best version of yourself you can be. So behind us is my high school football field. Um, you know, I had the opportunity to, to play here for, for four years and, uh, you know, some great, great times out here, you know, playing with, with your best friends and, and my brother. Uh, I had the opportunity to play with him for, for two seasons. So, you know, obviously with my dad being a coach, you know, that's pretty emotional too. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool opportunities and, and uh, you know, times that I had with him. Um, and some not so good times too, you know, but, but that's, that's sports, so um, just, the highs and the lows, you know, you, you take it in and, and you can reflect on it now and really, you know, appreciate the opportunities that you had. I have two favorite memories. The first one is my first touchdown pass in high school. I threw it to my brother. He ran a, a wheel on that side um, coming this way and uh, he caught it and ran it for about 45, 50 yards for a touchdown. And then the other one was uh, my senior year homecoming game. We, we were playing Eau Claire Memorial and we ran a, a rollout pass and First play overtime, and uh, my best friend in high school caught like a corner pass in, in that end zone down there. And I just remember, I mean, because we were down by like 21 points in the fourth quarter, and we ended up winning it. So I, after the game, we all we all dogpiled on top of him. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty special to to get to do that. So I mean, especially the the circumstance of the rest of the game. Um, yeah, it was pretty special. Well, his brother, when he was in, kin in kindergarten, asked Coach Labuda if he could do it, and, and Coach Labuda and I have been working together for 25 years, so um, he was okay with that. And, and the following year, Nate wanted to do it, so um, yeah, they both, both ended up, I think, about age five. They started dragging football dummies around, and, yeah, and it, was, it was kind of fun to have them at practice and, and uh, see them <clears throat> see the hard work that the kids were putting in, I think was pretty influential. They kind of grew into that, and I think by the time Nate was in high school, he probably had half of our offense down. That, that's probably the biggest thing I remember, is just he was always, he, he, he was the youngest, but he wasn't the littlest by any means of, of kids he hung around with, and, and um, he, he was always, he did always play with older kids too, so. Again, and he fit in because of his size. He, he just fit in. Um, I saw him throw the football when he was pretty young, and I was, I was pretty hopeful. I always thought when he was growing up that he might end up like working with me as a tight end or an offensive lineman because I knew he was going to be big. But um, then I saw, saw him throw a baseball probably when he was about seven or eight, and he had a pretty strong arm, and then throwing a football, he was even better. Pump pass and kick, he threw a ball about 50 yards when he was 10 years old, so uh, it's pretty impressive. Well, for baseball, he would have me catching for him, and I, gosh, I don't know, I, they, sixth grade maybe, where I was finally like, I, I can't catch the ball, it hurts my hand too much, you know, I would come away with my hand just smoking red, and I'm like, I, I can't catch for you anymore, buddy. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's probably the first time where I really thought, wow, he, you know, He's pretty young to throw that hard, and um, just kind of wondered where, where that would go. I knew that if he worked hard, he would have a chance. Um, <laughs> I like to tell the story. I think he was about eight years old, and he really wanted a set of golf clubs. And um, he had made the comment to me on the way out to buy his golf clubs that, Dad, I really love you. 
but I really love sports. And uh, <laughs> it made me feel good, but it made me on an even even par. And, and, and just like, Nate, if you work really hard, you'll have a chance to, to do something with your athletic ability. First and goal. Play fake. Stanley, they got him wrapped around the legs. Back in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. It's Hawkinson. Yeah, so this baseball, uh, the first home run that I hit um, as a kid, I think I was 10. When I hit this, it was a summer league tournament. I was begging my mom to buy me a new bat because I always had to use my, my friends. Uh, and uh, she said that eventually, <laughs> after a lot of begging and, and uh, annoying her, she said, if you hit a home run, I'll, I'll buy you a new bat. So uh, um, I think it was two days after she said that that I actually hit it. So um, yeah, I mean, it was pretty, pretty cool. So. Um, yeah, so this basketball. Um, was from, it was the game ball when I broke the scoring record, um, all-time scoring record at my high school. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was a long time, long time, long time coming, I guess. I know it was always a goal that I had from when I was a kid to, um, you know, growing up with my dad being a coach, um, knowing what the record was, uh, especially when I got the opportunity to play my freshman year and, and uh, you know, contribute and score quite a few points. Um, it's awesome to do it too, because I had a lot of, a lot of friends, and my brother actually came back and surprised me. Uh, he came to this game, so I, I looked up and, and saw him in the stands. It was pretty, pretty cool. So, my dad didn't get too emotional during games, but uh, I don't remember when I. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, he seemed pretty proud. So it was pretty awesome. So this, oh, what we're going through right now is the university in my hometown, the University of Wisconsin Stout. Um, played a lot of basketball tournaments here, a lot of seven on seven tournaments. Um, I don't know how many students students there are, but a lot of kids from my high school will usually go to school here um, and really enjoy it. So I mean, um, I don't think I could ever stay that close to home, but. Um, we're coming up on kind of the downtown. It kind of runs right into downtown, kind of like Iowa City does, but downtown Iowa City is a little bit bigger. Not um, really only one one main drag right here. From the time I was in kindergarten uh, up until through high school, um, my parents had a pretty good uh, plot of land uh, with some woods and, and uh, a lot of land to just do stuff outside. So my brother and, and sister and I, we were always out in the woods, always doing stuff outside, um, you know, and that included fishing. So uh, we'd fish quite a bit, um, you know, just do a lot of hunting, fishing, um, you know, anything that we could really do to, to pass the time, you know, because growing up, never really had a video gaming console or anything like that. Um, so, you know, we'd always, it was either uh, pick up basketball or baseball or, or making up sports in our uh, in our yard to to uh, playing in the woods, making tree forts and stuff, and um, you know to fishing and, and doing stuff on the lake. So it's peaceful. Um, you know, obviously right now it, you know, it's sprinkling a little bit, but uh, you know other than that, I mean, it's a beautiful day out. Um, great weather. Um, yeah, I mean you can't beat this. So yeah, he's always. It's either playing or he's napping, so one of the two. And he, he lets you know when he wants to play, so he, uh, he bugs you pretty good. So. Come here. Yeah, he's a big dog, so he gets tired pretty good. Don't eat that. All right. Onyx. Just really looking to build off of last year. You know, I think we had a lot of success. Uh, you know, with, with certain things, but really just trying to build consistency as we move on. Um, you know, I think that it'll really help us win some of those closer games that we lost last year. And uh, just really, you know, take us from eight wins to, to 10 wins or even 11 wins, because you know, I think we had, we had three games that were, that were less than a touchdown. So, I mean, I know that we can win those games and really just continue to build on that consistency aspect of, of every day, uh, you know, in practice and then having it translate onto the field. Um, last year, I think one of my parents was at every single game. Um, so, you know, just just knowing that, that no matter 
how it turns out, how the game turns out that that they're going to be there for you. Uh, you know, you can't beat that. So um, just just really having that love and support, you know, kind of makes everything else. Uh, you know, every, obviously everything else matters in life, but uh, um, when it really comes down to it, you know, that's that's what really makes makes or breaks it. You know, having having that support from your family and your, your close group you know, of people that, that really support you and know you and, um, you know, makes everything else uh, a blessing, really.